Sam and Cat is a Nickelodeon teen sitcom that ran from June 8th, 2013 to July 17th, 2014 for a total of one season and 35 episodes. The series is a spin-off crossover of both iCarly and Victoria's two other Nickelodeon sitcoms, and it stars Jeanette McCurdy reprising her role as Sam Puckett from iCarly, and Ariana Grande reprising her role as Kat Valentine from Victoria's. The show wasn't very popular when it was running and was cancelled after one season. Today, the show has become largely forgotten about. However, something that even less people know about is that this had a cartoon attached to it. Allow me to introduce you to the Lil' Sam and Cat Show. This is an animated live action web series spinoff of Sam and Cat that was released onto both Nick.com's Sam and Cat page and the official Sam and Cat website. The Lil' Sam and Cat show is a variety show that features quote-unquote Lil versions of the titular duo. Alongside behind-the-scenes information on how certain stunts were done on the real Sam and Cat, challenges featuring the cast of the show, and overall skits also featuring the cast of the show. Although The Real Sam and Cat was cancelled on July 13th, 2014, and the final episode of it aired a few days later on July 17th, The Lil Sam and Cat Show would still have new episodes made for it after The Real Sam and Cat's cancellation, with the final episode of The Lil Sam and Cat Show being released on December 5th, 2014. The series also had significantly more episodes made for it when compared to The Real Sam Sam and Cat. There were only 35 episodes made for The Real Sam and Cat, whereas The Lil Sam and Cat show had 64 episodes made. All of these episodes are extremely short, being about 5-6 minutes long at most. The Sam and Cat website was up until around April 23rd, 2018, when going onto it would instead redirect you to the Sam and Cat page on Nick.com. At an unknown time though, the Sam and Cat page on Nick.com would be removed as well. Now you might be wondering, why am I making a video talking about this extremely obscure and admittedly pretty crappy web series that nobody knows exists. Well, you see, my friends, this series is lost media. Kind of. As I said before, there were 64 episodes made for the Lil Sam and Cat show, and of these 64 episodes, 46 of the episodes have been found, with 6 of the found episodes being only available in Spanish. That leaves 24 episodes that are lost, 18 of them are completely lost, while 6 of them are lost, the, the English versions are lost. I first discovered the Lil Sam and Cat show sometime around the beginning of 2023. I'm not entirely sure what led to me finding out about this thing, but ever since I found it, I became fascinated with it. I was like, what the hell is this? This was a, a real thing that happened? I first found the show on YouTube, and I decided to watch a few episodes to see what was it all about, and um... Yeah, it's an amazing show, and I think it's one of the greatest cartoons ever made. It is the best Nickelodeon cartoon ever made. It's better than Danny Phantom and Avatar The Last Airbender. It is a, a true masterpiece of art, and uh, I think it's pretty good, guys. It's, it's really good. Oink! Ah! Hideous creature! Well, I never... Being serious though, while I was watching this thing for the very first time, the only thing I could think of was, what the f*** is this? Was this really a thing that happened? There was a Sam and Cat cartoon, and seemingly nobody knows about its existence. It's just this extremely weird, obscure thing. Naturally, I knew that this would make for a great video. At some point, I wanted to make a video reviewing this thing, talking about it, making more people aware of its existence. Lo and behold, a few months later, around April of 2023, I made a video 
video talking about the show. Now initially, that was where the story ended off. I found out about this obscure, crappy cartoon, and I made a video talking about it. The end. However, something occurred in August of 2023 that would completely change the way I looked at this thing. At some point, I wanted to do a little fun project for myself. I, it wasn't like anything big, but it was something that I wanted to do. I have this series called The Search for the Worst Cartoon, where I try to find the worst cartoon ever made. I'm not plugging in the series, I'm not like shamelessly promoting it, I'm just, I'm putting this in because this is kind of essential information. I'm sorry if this comes off as me plugging in my other videos, but I wanted to do a little side project for fun involving the cartoons I've looked at on the search for the worst cartoon, and that required me to look through episodes of the Lil Sam and Cat show. So I started looking through different episodes of the show when I noticed something I had not noticed before. I clicked on one episode and I saw that the video had been blocked. I swear it was not like this before when I went onto it the first time. I guess sometime after I made the video on it in April, I guess I made Viacom or Paramount or whatever, I, I made them aware of this thing's existence because this is an extremely obscure show. And then it didn't take long before a very horrific thought entered my head. This show could become lost media very easily. I spent most of that day archiving as many episodes of the Lil Sam and Cat show as I possibly could. I had no idea how many episodes there were, I had no idea in what order do they go in, I had no idea at all. It wasn't until I started doing further research on this show. As stated before, the show was available on Nick.com's Sam and Cat page and the official Sam and Cat website. The official Sam and Cat website had a page for the Lil Sam and Cat show, which contained every episode. Unfortunately, if you use the Wayback Machine for both the Sam and Cat website and the Nick.com webpage, it does not work at all. None of the videos work. You can click on them, but like the video will not play. The videos have not been archived. They don't work at all. However, with this page, I was able to figure out that there were 64 episodes made of the Lil Sam and Cat show, and I was able to get an order of the episodes. I was able to order them, put them in the correct order, etc. I started digging through a ton of different places. I started digging through, in, in addition to YouTube, obviously, I started digging through like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I didn't really find a whole lot of things on those other websites. I think the only really big thing that I found there was an episode on Facebook, an entire episode that was either only available in Spanish or was completely lost, I'm not sure. It's important for me to note that there were episodes of the Lil Sam and Cat show that were only available in Spanish. The English versions were completely lost. And that still is the case, as I mentioned before. There are six episodes of the show that have been found, but they're only in Spanish. They're not in English. I decided to take it upon myself to archive the episodes that were lost in English but were available in Spanish and hoping that like eventually these episodes, the English versions of them would resurface somewhere. Anyways, in some areas like on Nickelodeon's Instagram page and whatnot, the, the Sam and Cat Facebook page, I was able to find small snippets of English versions of Spanish only episodes 
but that was about it really. Around this time as well, I discovered there were not one, but two Flash games that featured the Lil' Sam and Cat show in it. The, the versions of Sam and Cat from the Lil' Sam and Cat show. The first game is this like racing game of sorts. You have to mash the Q button repeatedly to run, and in order to jump, you have to press the A button. It is an extremely short game, and it's kind of easy, but it's also kind of hard just because you have to mash the Q button a lot, and it can really sore out your finger. I have no idea why they decided to use these crappy controls. I don't know, like, why the Q button specifically? I don't get it, but that's beside the point. And the second game is a Pong clone. It's not good, but it's not bad either. It's okay, I guess. It's, it's very slow and boring, but you know what? It's playable. The two games appear to have never been released in the US. They were on the UK version of Nick.com and not the American version. And they appear to have been released around the same time, although the exact date is unknown. It would obviously have to be somewhere in 2013 or 2014. I figured I might as well bring this up. I, th I think this is like a pretty interesting thing to acknowledge these two Flash games that feature this lost Nicktoon in it. It then hit me that I didn't check Nickelodeon's YouTube YouTube channel or any of their foreign channels in addition to the American English one. Now here's something that really confuses me. For some reason, Nickelodeon never uploaded any of the episodes onto their YouTube channel. I have no idea why this is the case, but I cannot find these videos at all. I cannot find any episodes at all. There is no Lil Sam and Cat to be found anywhere on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel. I checked all of their other foreign channels as well on YouTube, and there was nothing. There was only one YouTube channel that had the Lil Sam and Cat show on it. One channel, and that's it. And that being the German channel for Nickelodeon. And even then, they only uploaded eight episodes out of 64. I don't know why the German channel is the only Nickelodeon YouTube channel to have this show on it, and I don't know why it's only 8 episodes and not all the 64 episodes, but whatever, that's beside the point. The good news is, these are all English with German subtitles, rather than German dubbed, so at least, you know, we can be safe to assume that none of these episodes could become lost media. So with Nickelodeon's YouTube channels out of the question, there was still one alleyway left for me to explore. Physical media. There were DVDs that were released for the real Sam and Cat, and it didn't take long for me to speculate. Maybe these DVDs have the Lil Sam and Cat show on them as like a bonus feature. As far as I'm aware, there were six DVDs that were released for Sam and Cat. Two of them are American, two of them are Australian, and two of them are Brazilian. So starting things off, we have this DVD, which I will refer to as the Target DVD, because apparently this DVD was only sold at Target stores. This was never released anywhere except for Target. I was initially reluctant to get this DVD or any other Sam and Cat DVD because if you look at the back of the box, you will see that there is no mention of the Lil Sam and Cat show anywhere on it. Usually DVDs, they have like, you know, they have like a little blurb in the back telling you the bonus features, the special features, whatever. And Nickelodeon DVDs are certainly no exception to this. Almost all Nickelodeon DVDs have like a little blurb on the back telling you what the bonus features are, whether it be storyboards for episodes, bonus episodes, you know, anything like that. But there was nothing like that on this Sam and Cat DVD, so I was very skeptical about whether I should get this DVD or not. I didn't want to waste money on something that will most likely not have what I am looking for. Eventually though, I decided, you know what, I might as well buy this DVD. I would rather buy this DVD and be disappointed that it doesn't have anything relating to the Lil Sam and Cat show on it, than not buy the DVD and have that curiosity 
curiosity linger on inside of me about like whether this DVD has the little salmon cat show on it or not. If I buy this DVD and there is nothing relating to Lil' Salmon Cat on it, I would be heavily disappointed, but at least I would be understanding of it. At, at least there would be closure. At least we can mark this as a debunked lead. There would be closure for this. And so I went and bought the DVD, and eventually it did arrive. I popped the disc into my Blu-ray player, and the moment I saw the special features option on the main menu, I immediately got my hopes up. Lo and behold, this DVD does have episodes of the Lil' Salmon Cat show on it as a bonus feature. Why they didn't advertise this on the back of the box, like most other Nickelodeon DVDs do, most other DVDs in general do, I have no idea, but that's beside the point. Granted, it's only seven episodes. To tie in with the fact that the DVD itself only has seven episodes of the real Salmon Cat on it. And again, all of these episodes have been found and archived. And as if that wasn't enough, all of these episodes, with the exception of one episode that's missing on this DVD, were also uploaded onto the Nickelodeon Germany YouTube channel. So you might think that I would have been disappointed, but I didn't care. Because this gave me hope that maybe these other DVDs for Sam and Cat could have the little Sam and Cat show on it. All I would have to do is buy the DVDs, see if they have them on it, and just, you know, make, make it clear. I would just solve the mystery just like that. And so we move on to DVD number two. This is a complete serious DVD that was released sometime in 2015. I do not own this DVD, and I don't think I ever will own this DVD, because number one, this DVD is rare and expensive. Let me give you a bit of backstory. Sometime between the late 2000s up to the mid 2010s, Nickelodeon would do this thing with Amazon where they would release certain shows of theirs on DVD via Amazon, like exclusively on Amazon. And they would have this program, that, I, I don't know, Manufacture on Demand, I think is what it's called, where basically what it is is you place an order for a DVD and then the DVD gets made for you, and then it gets shipped to you. It's not like the DVD is pre-made prior to you ordering it. It's a really stupid thing, and I don't know why they did this for some of their shows. Like, a lot of their live-action shows suffer from this. Like, Drake and Josh and Zoe 101 suffered from this heavily. Zoe 101 had four seasons, and of these four seasons, season one was the only one to have a normal, convenient DVD release. Seasons 2, 3, and 4 were all manufactured on demand, and as such, they are very rare to get. The reason why these DVDs are rare to get is because, I suppose at some point, I don't know when, but at some point, Nickelodeon stopped doing this. They stopped remaking these manufactured on demand DVDs. They stopped supporting them. They ended support for them. And as a result, these DVDs have become out of print and very rare to get. There were a lot of Nickelodeon shows that were affected by this manufacture on demand nonsense, some of which are still affected by it to this day. The aforementioned Drake and Josh and Zoe 101, they still, most of their home media releases are just these manufactured on demand. Man DVDs. So yeah, there was not a chance in hell that I would ever be able to get this Sam and Cat complete serious DVD. It doesn't matter though, because the good news, or bad news, depending on how you interpret this, is there is no Lil Sam and Cat show on this DVD set. I've managed to find YouTube videos showcasing the menus for these DVDs, and there, it's a five disc set, this complete series DVD, and there is no Lil Sam and Cat show on it. There's no bonus features or anything like that. I've managed to obtain some of these manufacture on demand DVDs for Drake and Josh and Zoe 101 as stated before. And they are very bare bones and you could tell they use like a template for these these are like kind of cheaply made using like a template and there's like no bonus features on either dvd it's just the episodes of the show and that's it it's just play all and episode select and nothing else and it's very likely that every one 
of the manufacture on demand Nickelodeon DVDs is like this. And this Sam and Cat Complete Series DVD is no exception. So thankfully, we can mark this DVD as not having anything relating to the little Sam and Cat show on it. Moving on, you have the two Brazilian DVDs, in which this is going to be a very brief segment compared to the American and Australian segments. And the reason why is because I do not own either DVD. I cannot find any listings for either of these DVDs anywhere at all. The most that I can find are YouTube videos from someone showing like, I guess it's like an unboxing video for the two DVDs. And that's about it. One of the DVDs greatly resembles the Target DVD, and there's a chance it's just simply a Brazilian version, as it appears to have the same seven episodes that the Target DVD had. So that just leaves us with the second DVD, which is a completely different, unique DVD. I do not own this DVD, I'm just bringing it up just to make people aware. I do not own this DVD. I cannot find any listings of it online anywhere, so I'm not even able to buy it. I found a video of someone like showing off the DVD, like unboxing it, but that's about it. Maybe I could try contacting the person that made this video to see if they could upload like a menu walkthrough or something like that for the DVD, but I have no idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a prediction. I don't think either of these DVDs will have anything relating to the Little Salmon Cat show on it, and you're gonna see why in a little bit. Even then, regardless of if these DVDs have the Little Salmon Cat show on it, I wanna find every episode in English and not in Spanish. These DVDs either have no Little Salmon Cat show on it at all, or they have episodes of it, but it's like episodes that have already been found. Remember, of the 46 episodes that I found, six of them are in Spanish. So I don't think it's really likely that either of these DVDs will have the Lil' Sam and Cat show on it. And so that brings us to the Australian DVDs. There were two Australian DVDs that were released, a Volume 1 DVD and a Volume 2 DVD. Both of these DVDs appear to have been released sometime in 2016. And then, a few years later, in 2021, the two DVDs were re-released, packaged together, as part of this complete collection DVD set. I intentionally made sure to buy the complete collection DVD set in the hopes that it was just a repackaging of the Volume 1 and Volume 2 DVDs. And thankfully that ended up being the case, because although I can find listings for Volume 1 online with no problem, Volume 2 is extremely rare. I can find no listings for it online. As with the first Brazilian DVD, I noticed that the Australian Volume 1 DVD had a heavy resemblance to the Target DVD, and I think that was what made me really curious about if this had episodes of, of the show or not on it. There are three discs included in each volume, so there's six discs in total. I bought this DVD sometime in mid-September, and it was expected to arrive in mid-October. This was a very expensive DVD to get, especially considering the fact that since this is an Australian DVD, that would mean that the my US dollars would have to be converted into whatever currency Australia has. I'll admit I have no idea how this works, but I think that is what made it extra expensive, combined with the fact that since this is like shipped from Australia, that would mean that like it would take a while for it to arrive. And then there was the issue of trying to play the DVD, because since this is an Australian DVD, that means that the region locking would prevent me from being able to play it on my American Blu-ray player. So in advance, before the DVD arrived, I made sure to buy a region-free DVD player, a DVD player that could play any region. It also was a bit pricey, it costed around $27 or so. Eventually, it did arrive, I was able to plug it in, 
and I could confirm that it was a region free. I do have an own DVDs from other regions. I don't know why I own them, but I'm glad that I own them since I would be able to confirm that the DVD player is region free. However, there was one significant problem. It didn't come with a remote, the DVD player. When I ordered the DVD player, I didn't check to see if it came with a remote or not. I checked other listings for the same DVD player that I bought, and I saw that yes indeed, there were remote controls included. So I guess I must have accidentally bought one that didn't have a remote control included. I honestly don't know why you would ever sell a DVD player without a remote control, but whatever, that's beside the point. Against my will, I had to buy another DVD player from the same brand, this time coming with the remote control, because I couldn't find the remote control on its own. And as if that wasn't enough, it turned out that even though these are Australian DVDs, they could work perfectly fine on my American DVD player. I guess it's like a rare instance where a DVD from a different region could work on like an American DVD player, Blu-ray player, whatever. And then, the cherry on top of all this is that this DVD doesn't have anything relating to the little salmon catcher on it. I checked all six discs, none of them have the little salmon catcher on it. It's just like the American Complete Series DVD. There's only Play All and Episode Select, and that's it. Nothing else on these DVDs. Yes, I'm aware of what I said earlier about how I'd rather be disappointed that there's nothing on it than not buy the DVD and be curious about it and blah blah blah, but still, this was disappointing for me. I really believed that this show would be lost forever. Like, the episodes that were lost, they would be permanently lost, never to see the light of day again. Now, some of you might wonder, why am I obsessed with finding this stupid thing? I don't know, I just am. I found out about this weird, obscure thing, and I've just become, like, obsessed with it. I've become fascinated with it. Imagine my shock when I find out that this thing is lost media. It's like, yeah, I got a job to do. I gotta f***ing preserve this. I'm sorry. I know it's crappy, but, like, still, this is something that, like, should be preserved. This weird, obscure salmon cat cartoon that you didn't know existed until you clicked on this video. As far as I'm aware, aside from these six DVDs, there is no other DVD release for Salmon Cat out there. Aside from the Target DVD and the Nickelodeon Germany YouTube channel, there is no official way to watch this series. The only way you could be able to watch it is via unofficial YouTube re-uploads, and that's it. After the disappointment of the Australian DVDs, I just decided, yeah, I kinda give up looking for this show. I strongly believed that the episodes that were lost are lost forever, most likely. As I mentioned before, the thing that made me fear that this show could become lost media was that several episodes were blocked. However, there are several episodes that I'm pretty sure were just straight up never uploaded to YouTube at all. I've checked a lot of places, as stated before. I've checked YouTube, I've checked Facebook, I've checked Twitter, I've checked Instagram, I've checked other YouTube-esque websites like Dailymotion or Vimeo, and some of these episodes that are listed on this archive of the Salmon Cat website, I could not find them anywhere. It's either episodes that have their English versions lost and are only available in Spanish, or episodes that are just lost entirely. At the time of making this video, the last major update to come out of this search attempt for this show occurred back in October of 2023. Since then, no new episodes have been found, no new discoveries were made, nothing like that. To make the search for these lost episodes even harder than it needs to be, some episodes of the Lil' Salmon Cat show share the same name as episodes of the real Salmon Cat, which only makes things even more confusing. Granted, most of the shared name episodes have been found, and you gotta remember, there are way more episodes of the Lil' Salmon Cat 
Cat Show when compared to the real Sam and Cat, 64 episodes, while the real Sam and Cat only had 35 episodes. But still, there are a couple shared name episodes that are lost. And it's really hard to look for them because more often than not, you get information for the actual Sam and Cat episode of the same name instead. I want to briefly take some time to talk about an episode that interests me for the Lil Sam and Cat show. This episode right here, We Steal a Rockstar. This episode is notable for a couple of things. For one thing, this is another one of those shared name episodes because there is an episode of The Real Sam and Cat also named We Steal a Rockstar. For another thing, this was the last episode of The Lil Sam and Cat show to be made before The Real Sam and Cat was cancelled. We Steal a Rockstar was published on July 11th, 2014. The Real Sam and Cat was cancelled two days later, on July 13th. The final episode of Sam and Cat aired on July 17th. And the next episode of The Lil Sam and Cat Show, which is tied to the final episode of The Real Sam and Cat, came out on July 18th. In total, there were 11 episodes of The Lil Sam and Cat Show made after The Real Sam and Cat's cancellation. Only 4 of the 11 episodes have been found. And finally... This episode is a bit different from all of the other Lost episodes, because whereas the other Lost episodes are completely lost in their entirety, this episode is different, because there exists a 30 second snippet of the episode online. At the time of making this, this is currently the only available footage for this episode. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip right now. Hey guys, I realized what's wrong with our band. You all have lame instruments that you don't know how to play? No, we don't have a lead singer. Oh, well, I guess I could sing if you insist. What? No, not you. Nurse Staney. <laughs> I quit for the third time. You can't quit now. You'll upset our audience. <laughs> yep, de do. This clip was uploaded onto YouTube on November 2nd, 2015 by a channel named Synopsis. The channel uploaded a video a month ago, so they are still active, but the previous video they uploaded beforehand was uploaded a year ago, so I wouldn't trust them on being too active on YouTube. I saw that they had a website, and I decided to check it out, and they appear to be like a, like a news website dedicated to like television news, news relating to television vision and whatnot. I then got curious as to what the Model D awards were since the clip uploaded onto YouTube was titled Model D Awards Nickelodeon Salmon Cat and I guess it's supposed to be an award ceremony that they hold yearly. I decided to look up the 2015 awards specifically since the clip was uploaded in November of that year and I saw that the episode was nominated for use of companion episode video for TV show however the episode didn't win. I am considering getting in contact with these people to see if they still have this missing episode in their possession. It is very unlikely since this was nearly 10 years ago. God, 2015 was almost 10 years ago. I feel old. But, I, you know, it wouldn't hurt to try, you know? There is something very important that I must say, though. Do not contact these people and spam them or whatever if there's going to be anyone that'll contact synopsis it'll have to be me and even then i don't know if i'm going to do it 100 percent it's just something that i'm considering doing do not go and spam these people find them and like ask them about this because that's just gonna hinder this search more likely than not they don't have the episode with them still and even if they do somehow still have the episode it's only one episode and that's it there's still tons of other episodes of the lil sam and cat show that are completely lost it's just that this one episode has a slight chance at being found potentially due to a lead. Again, we don't know if they have the episode or not in their possession, but I'm leaning towards they don't have it, more likely. I figured this was an interesting observation to make this channel that 
has a lost episode of the show on it like a partial clip from an otherwise completely lost episode moving on from that in mid-october i decided to write an article about the show on the lost media wiki i was hesitant initially to write an article on the show on there because i didn't know if i was able to like write a good enough article i took my time writing it tried being careful tried following the rules of the wiki as closely as possible not have it be like a poorly written article or anything like that it took a few hours to write down the article mostly because I had to include every single episode of the Lil Sam and Cat show and their status, whether they were found or lost or anything like that. But I have to say, it was very much worth it. This last attempt to raise any sort of awareness for this obscure thing. At the time of making this video, this is the last mayor update to come out of my search for the Lil Sam and Cat show. And this video that you are watching right here will most likely be the final video that I make on this topic because I do not know what else to say about the Lil Sam and Cat show. I don't know what else to do. I strongly believe that the lost episodes of the show will be lost forever because they have seemingly never been archived at all. They have never been uploaded onto YouTube. And that honestly kind of saddens me. This crappy cartoon that has become something of an inside joke for this channel is gonna remain, you know, lost. The lost episodes. I mean, again, it is very easy for me to forget that a majority of the show has been found. There is more of the show that's found than there is stuff that's lost. More of the show has been found than lost. So I don't know why I'm making a big deal about this. Maybe I shouldn't be making a big deal about this, but I am. In the description below, alongside the many references and sources used in this video, is a link to a Google Drive that contains everything that I've found for the show. Every episode that I've found for the show, every thumbnail for the episodes taken from the Sam and Cat website, and miscellaneous clips and whatnot for episodes. With all that said, allow me to provide you with a timeline for the Lil Sam and Cat show and my attempts to find every single episode of it. May 28th, 2013. A trailer, the unofficial first episode, I don't know, for the Lil Salmon Cat show is uploaded onto the Salmon Cat website. This video is currently lost and it is unknown what it contains in it. June 8th, 2013. Both Sam and Cat and the Lil Sam and Cat show premiere on Nickelodeon and the Sam and Cat website, respectively. This I consider to be the first proper episode of the Lil Sam and Cat show. Although it does make me question more what is in the Sam and Cat videos video. July 11th, 2014, the 52nd episode of the Lil Sam and Cat show, We Steal a Rockstar, is uploaded onto the Sam and Cat website. Aside from a 30 second snippet uploaded in November of 2015, this episode is currently lost. More notably, this was the last episode of the Lil Sam and Cat show to be released before the cancellation of Sam and Cat. July 13th, 2014, Sam and Cat officially gets cancelled by Nickelodeon after only one season. July 17th, 2014, the final episode of Sam and Cat airs on Nickelodeon. July 18th, 2014, the 53rd episode of the Lil Sam and Cat show, entitled Get in Wiggy, sharing the real Sam and Cat episode of the same name, is uploaded onto the Sam and Cat website. This episode is currently lost in its entirety, and this was also the first episode of the Lil Salmon Cat show to be uploaded after the cancellation of the real Salmon Cat. In total, there were 11 episodes of the Lil Salmon Cat show made after the real Salmon Cat's cancellation, only four of which have been found. December 5th, 2014. The final episode of the Lil Salmon Cat show, Bang Bang, is uploaded onto the Salmon Cat website. April 23rd, 2018. 
the Salmon Cat website is taken down and going onto it redirects you onto the Nickelodeon page for the show. At an unknown time, the Salmon Cat page on Nick.com was taken down. And I want to imagine during that brief period of time where it was still up, most of the videos did not work at all. I don't think the little Salmon Cat show videos still worked when the Salmon Cat page was still up on Nick.com, that's just me speculating. Sometime in early 2023, I discover this show and I become fascinated by its existence, just this extremely obscure thing that nobody else knows exists. This culminates with a video that I uploaded of the show that was uploaded in April of 2023. In early August of 2023, I discover that the show could be on the verge of becoming lost media. And so, in the time between August of 2023 and October of 2023, I spent a lot of time digging through every website I could think of that could have episodes of this show on it. I buy DVDs for the real Salmon Cat. I do a whole lot of stuff. And it all ends in January of 2024 with this video. This video that I consider to be the definitive comprehensive guide for this series. My search attempts for this show. This show that I personally believe to be the most obscure Nicktoon ever made, if you want to count it as a Nicktoon. And I mean this thing is obscure. Really f***ing obscure. Let's just put this in an iceberg, okay? On the surface, you have all of the beloved Nicktoons that are well-known and popular and whatever. Everyone knows them, everyone loves them, there's nothing to be said about them that hasn't already been said before by tons of other people. And then submerged underwater, but still fairly high up, you have shows that have become forgotten about, but chances are, if you bring up their name, there will be a good amount of people that'll be like, oh hey, I remember that show, that was a show I watched when I was a kid. And then, deeper into the iceberg, you have shows that are very forgotten about. Barely anyone remembers their existence. Only like a small niche group of people remember their existence. And then you have the Lil Salmon Cat Show, which is at the f***ing Mariana Trench. It's not even... Uh, it's not even at the bottom of the iceberg, it's below the iceberg. That's how obscure this thing is. And I think it's extreme obscurity is what makes me fascinated with this show. I discovered this show. I want to make a video on it. The initial video that I made did really well. I had to take it down and re-upload it a few months later due to potential copyright concerns, but the video did really well. And so now this thing has just become an inside joke within this channel. I know this is a really stupid thing to obsess over, but honestly, I don't want to live in a world where a salmon cat cartoon is lost media. And yeah, yeah, maybe I am overreacting. After all, most of the show has been found. 46 of the 64 episodes have been found. But still, lost media is lost media. It doesn't matter how much of it is lost and how much of it has been found. And even though most of this show has been found, I still consider this to be one of the more interesting pieces of lost Nickelodeon media. Considering the large amount of lost Nickelodeon media that was found in 2023, such as the Gibby pilot and the Blue's Clues pilot, maybe there's a chance that in 2024, we could find every episode of the Lil Salmon Cat Show. I don't know. Anything is possible. This was a video that I've been wanting to make for a while now, and I'm glad that it's finally been made. I consider this to be the definitive video on this topic, and more likely than not, this will be the final video I make on it, as, again, there's nothing new that I could add to this discussion. Everything that I've wanted to say about my search for this show, I have said in this video. So unless something new comes up, I am not going to make a follow-up video. Regardless though, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and now you know about this 
weird, obscure, crappy cartoon that I kind of love for some reason. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I will see you all next time. Adios.